Monty Collins was an American film actor and screenwriter. He appeared in 167 films between 1920 and 1948. He also wrote for 32 films between 1930 and 1951. Career Dapper, pencil moustached Collins starred in silent short comedies in the late 1920s. These were produced by educational pictures and often directed by Jules White. The coming of sound in movies had no ill effect on Collins's career. He was not as big a name as Buster Keaton or Laurel and Hardy, so Collins had no preconceived screen image that could be shattered by talkies. Although Collins took to talkies easily, he never established himself as a major comedy star. Throughout the 1930s he appeared in secondary roles in both feature films and short subjects. Collins was usually Jules White's first choice when casting supporting players. White's 1932 short show Business, starring Zasu Pitts and Thelma Todd, co-stars Collins as the frustrated manager of a vaudeville troupe traveling by train. When Jules White organized the short subject department at Columbia Pictures in 1933, he remembered Collins and hired him. Columbia historian Ted Okuda says Monty Collins was the Dan Aykroyd of his day, a reliable, skilled comedian who usually assisted other stars in getting laughs, rather than driving the action by himself. Jules White recognized this capability and teamed Collins with big and dumb comic Tom Kennedy. The Collins and Kennedy partnership ran only a few years, but White continued to use both actors as all-purpose supporting players. White co-starred Monty Collins in three of his Buster Keaton comedies. Collins also appeared prominently in Columbia comedies with Harry Langdon, Charlie Chase, L. Brendel, Andy Clyde, Vera Vague, and the Three Stooges. He was memorably cast as the Stooges' mother in their 1942 comedy Cactus Makes Perfect. Collins also contributed to the staging of visual gags, and he began receiving screen credit as a writer in 1942. He worked behind the scenes throughout the 1940s as a writer or dialogue coach, while appearing occasionally in front of the cameras. In 1947, he partnered with actor Robert Page to produce an independent feature film, The Green Promise. One of his last credits was supplying material for Laurel and Hardy's final film, Atoll K. Filmed in France by French and Italian cast and crew members, the production was hectic and chaotic for the English-speaking stars. The finished film carries the unique credit, Gags by Monty Collins, Death. Collins was about to launch a career in television when he died of a heart attack in 1951, at age 52. Selected Filmography The Man from Lost River My Wife's Relations At the Sign of the Jack o Lantern. Men You'd Be Surprised 45 Minutes from Hollywood It's a Cinch Keep Laughing Anybody's Goat Woman Haters Oh, My Nerves the Great Adventures of Wild Bill Hickok, Three Missing Links, Star Reporter, Mooching Through Georgia, You're Next, Buck Benny Rides Again, My Life with Caroline, Cactus Makes Perfect, Matrifony, Phony Crony's Short Subject, A Lady Takes a Chance, The Town Went Wild, 